Hello everyone. In the film Sachi Lagan we saw that how the little Vishnu's dedication towards studies and his strong determination helped him focus on education without going to formal school. So similarly, there are many remarkable personalities who created history due to their strong determination and they continue to inspire many across the globe. Like Dhirubhai Ambani, Prem Mathur and Milka Singh. And today, I would like to share the remarkable story of Prem Mathur who is truly an inspiration. Friends, today is the era of equality and today, in the 21st century, women are working in every kind of field, be it corporate or even politics. But initially, this wasn't the case. The girls and the women were considered capable of handling the kitchen and household chores. So the story I'm going to narrate to you actually began in the period of early years of 20th century when our society was majorly rather completely male dominated which means a patriarchal society. So in Aligarh, in Uttar Pradesh, a woman in an ordinary family gave birth to a baby girl and very lovingly the family named the girl as Prem. Due to her father's sudden transfer, little Prem shifted her base along with her family to Allahabad. A 5-6 years old girl who could not even stay without her doll even for 2 minutes had to unfortunately stay without her mother for her entire life. Even after Prem's mother passed away, she with the support of her family and her brothers successfully completed her studies at school and college during those times. During those times, people never thought it was important for women to pursue their education. But fortunately, Prem's family, especially her brothers, supported her education a lot. So Prem's battle was not with her family, but it was with the outer world and their conservative thoughts. Here after the Second World War, Prem's businessman brother purchased some old aircrafts used in the Second War and sold those aircrafts to the Lanka Flying Club. Prem's eldest brother, who was a flying instructor in Delhi, was assigned the responsibility of taking these old aircrafts to Colombo. So a simple story that sounds so normal takes an unexpected turn when Prem's flying instructor brother takes Prem on an air ride to scare her and play a prank with her. So her elder brother makes Prem sit in the plane and perform several airplane stunts to scare her. He thought that Prem will scream in fear and request him to land and return home. But her elder brother was shocked to see that instead of getting scared, Prem was enjoying the plane ride and the air stunts. On one hand, the eldest brother's plan had failed miserably. And at the same time, he was feeling very proud of his younger sister. Maybe he had already started planning something for Prem. And in the next ride, the eldest brother handed over the control of the aircraft to Prem and he kept giving the instructions to manage the aircraft to his sister. Even Prem, like an obedient student, followed all of her brother's instructions. And even Prem was having fun controlling the aircraft. The next day, Prem found a written note placed on her table. And the note said that you are a very brave and powerful girl. If you work really hard, then you can become a very good pilot. And this note was written by none other than her own loving eldest brother. A flying instructor had recognized the ability of Prem becoming a very good and gifted pilot. And it was then that Prem received the inspiration of becoming a pilot. But it wasn't that easy to become a pilot. And that too when the women didn't receive the permission to even ride a bicycle so easily. Prem then joined a flying school. And due to her dedication and sheer determination, 
without the help of a flying instructor Prem was successful in flying the aircraft independently During this time Kolkata was organizing the national air race where their flying club was also invited and Prem was also very keen to participate in this air race but in a race where highly experienced instructors which means male participants were supposed to compete how could that have a new pilot and that to a female who would take the risk of allowing her to participate but Prem Mathur convinced the club to provide her a low capacity plane which was old and with this old aircraft all the experienced pilots and all of them were males were defeated in the race by none other than Prem leaving everyone mighty impressed and after this with sheer hard work after completing all qualifying exams and required tests Prem got a flying license so this is how Prem became India's first female commercial pilot of that time even though the journey of achieving the license was difficult for prem mathur because it was then when prem's elder brother met with an accident and left her alone prem was very shattered but prem had to not just fulfill a dream but also that of her brothers receiving the flying license did not mean that prem's dream was fulfilled in fact prem's actual test was now After receiving the license Prem applied in all airlines of India to become a pilot and all the airlines had rejected her because no airline in India wanted to take the risk of appointing a female pilot many of them told her that no one would give her the job of a pilot that's why she should become an instructor in a flying school but Prem Mathur did not give up and her determination was very strong she wanted to become a pilot at any given cost prem requested all airlines and flying clubs to give up on this guideline of unequal behavior towards women immediately and she wrote several letters but she would receive only one response for all that women unlike men cannot handle any kind of emergency situation and if a woman is taking charge in the cockpit as a pilot then passenger will not feel safe in such a situation at all but prem mathur kept trying hard and like they say that not all the people think the same and on one day the nizam of hyderabad gave the permission to prem mathur to work in his airline called deccan airlines and this is how the journey of becoming a co-pilot in an airline somehow began with his support while working with deccan airlines prem flew indira gandhi ji lal bahadur shastri ji lady mount batten to name a few on social occasions but prem mathur wanted full control in the cockpit section she did not merely remain as a co-pilot but even deccan airways didn't give prem the permission for it even though prem had completed the number of flying hours that is actually required to become a pilot but sadly prem was not allowed to become a pilot that's why prem quit deccan airways and left for delhi and became the pilot of the renowned jd birla's private jet in spite of repeated rejection for long Prem kept trying hard to achieve her goal and around 1953 Prem Mathur achieved a lucrative offer from Indian Airlines and Prem Mathur's dream finally became a reality and this is how our country became the first country to appoint a female pilot in the world and after this incident all other countries understood that one cannot differentiate and measure talent merely with regard to gender a person with his determination and hard work can change every set criteria and lay down rules if he or she wants prem mathur's determination proved to india 
and other countries that a woman's role is not just limited to the kitchen and household chores she can also fly the aircraft thank you